Welcome to Fridge Camp. If you eat food, this is the show for you. In the fridge today. Does cheese give you nightmares? We undertake a scientifically controlled experiment to find out. And Ben cooks us a recipe with these ingredients. Catch you finding out. But first, we put some of the oldest food myths to the test. I think my bum. Myth one, microwaving food is unhealthy. Plan out a great experiment to test this theory. Mm -hmm. Got two bowls of kale, a microwave, some boiling water, and this is a refractometer. We're gonna boil some kale in both a microwave and a pan of boiling water. We're gonna see if the microwave kale still has the same amount of density as the boiled, and therefore whether it kills the nutrients in it or not. This is the boiled in a pan kale. Is that scale going up? No, that was just you dropping green liquid onto it. <laughs> Let's just dip it straight in, see what happens. Take your finger off it. Oh, there you go. What, what, what's happening? It's 6%. 6% bricks. Have a look at that. What does that say? One bricks. That's 1% 1 bricks. So the water that was coming out of the kale from the microwave Yeah. Has lost more has lost less nutrients than the one that we boiled. Is this the bit where we go to the Jamie? Really, the science. To the science. Yeah, science bit, please, because we're struggling. A microwave emits radiation. Now that sounds big and scary, but actually the radiation that it emits is about a thousand times weaker than anything that could do any harm. That radiation moves energy, and that energy moves the molecules in the food around. Now those molecules, when they move, create heat and the heat is what heats up the food. Because the microwave is only moving the molecules around, it's not destroying the nutrients any more than boiling them would. In fact, because it cooks quicker in a microwave, you could say it destroys fewer nutrients. Myth two, keeping a silver spoon in an open bottle of champagne will keep the fizz in for longer. Here's what we've done. Two bottles of champagne, exactly the same. Opened at exactly the same time last night. One had a silver spoon put in it. Yep. Both put into the fridge at the same time, both taken out of the fridge at the same time, and here they are. We're gonna test, are they equally as fizzy? Exactly. We're going to do that by pouring both into separate glasses. We're gonna count accurately the number of bubbles that we can see. <laughs> and then we're going to taste them and see what we think. That's fairly even bubblage. Yeah, very even bubblage. What are we toasting to? Um, the abolition of ridiculous myths. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, so, oh that's... You didn't and then, yeah, round. Can't tell the difference. I don't know if there is a difference. The hell do you think you're playing at? There have been lots of tests on this, some more formal than this one, and they've all failed. The fact is, the bubbles get into the liquid via pressurisation. Once the cork has been popped, the bubble's going to get out no matter what. Carbon dioxide is most soluble in cold liquids, so keep it in the fridge for as long as possible and the bubbles should remain there for a while, and then it'll escape, and then you're screwed. Myth number three. Do carrots help you see in the dark? This one is probably the most scientific so far. Yeah. Um, three hours ago, we put Jamie through an eye test in the dark. It's not quite pitch black. No, but I can still see things. You can see me, yeah? Yeah. Right, here's your card. E. A. C. Z. O. O. P. P. T. M. N. S. After counting his score, we then got Jamie to eat how many carrots? Six. Six carrots. Now, because of science, we've given his body some time to digest the carrots and see if it makes any difference to his eyesight. A S C T O Z F E L N M. He got two wrong again on the what? bottom row. But it was so scientific. Carrots contain high levels of vitamin A or retinol in comparison to other foods. The human body requires retinol to synthesize rhodopsin, which is a pigment in the eye which enables you to see in low light conditions. So yes, technically eating loads of carrots will enable you to see better in low light conditions. However, the eye requires light to operate, so it doesn't matter how many carrots you eat, you'll never be able to see in the dark. Aww. Myth four, alcohol is all burnt off during cooking. You can see what's coming. I bought this breathalyzer from the internet for how much? For £12. Brilliant. James has cooked up a lovely stew 
containing this amount of beer, this amount of wine, and this amount of perno. This is a pint of that stew. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna drink all of those. Great. Then we're gonna breathalyze you and take your reading. Okay. Then, we've cooked off all of that alcohol, supposedly, in this stew. I'm gonna drink this pint, and we're gonna take my reading, and we're gonna compare the two. Do you even like this? First, this is my first one. <laughs> Under no circumstances does Sorted condone irresponsible drinking. This is purely for scientific reasons. Cheers. Cheers. To hell. Oh, there's the hot burn. Test my reactions. You watch, I can drive. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you were 0.00, .00. I was 0.02. .00. Let's see if those figures have gone up. 0.07. It's high, it says. I'm not going to get home. <laughs> right. Go. No, you going. <laughs> You've gone down. 0.00. <laughs> Science, what does that mean? Alcohol burns at 78.5 degrees Celsius. We usually cook things at a bigger, higher temperature than that. So you would expect the alcohol to get burnt off when you cook, right? Wrong. Alcohol actually evaporates if left open at any temperature. It's just that when heat and time are applied, the more alcohol evaporates. So basically, the hotter the temperature and the longer that the alcohol is left at that temperature, the less alcohol left in the end dish. Myth number five, eating cheese before bed gives you nightmares. A study by the British Cheese Board, I know, concluded that, in fact, it doesn't give you nightmares, but it does give you more colourful and vivid dreams. What is weird is that different cheeses give you different types of dreams, so Stilton might give you weird and wacky dreams, whereas Cheddar might give you people-centric dreams, like dreaming of celebrities, and Red Leicester might give you nostalgic dreams. Believe what you want, but the science behind it is that milk contains an amino acid called tryptophan. Cheese is basically just concentrated milk. Your body needs tryptophan to produce serotonin, which is a sleep-inducing hormone. So cheese doesn't give you nightmares, but maybe it gives you more vivid dreams. So we gave different members of the Sorted Food team different cheeses to try last night. We all ate them before bed, and you're gonna see the results in the aftertaste. Speaking of cheese, let's see what Ben's come up with in the kitchen. Right, mate, what have you got for us? I've written a recipe, and I think it involves as many of the myths as possible. We've got carrots, we've got flat champagne, we're gonna burn some of the alcohol off and it's got a lot of cheese to cheese soup. So it begins with a couple of shallots, which we're gonna peel and finely dice, a couple of carrots, which we're gonna peel and finely dice, and a couple of cloves of garlic, which we're going to peel, peel and, and finely, finely dice. dice. Oh, yeah. Very battered. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps on adding sound effects to me chopping garlic, yeah, listen. Yeah, let's spell it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Shing, 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 shing. Keep the dice nice and fine, it will cook nice and quick. Plenty of butter into a pan, sweat it off with a lid. Take about 10 minutes. The liquid of our soup, a glass of flat champagne. Great use for it if you've got any left. Some apple juice and some veg stock. Splash it all into the pan with a little bit of paprika and bubble it away for about 20 minutes. Are you confident that this is going to work? It's pretty easy. It's a very simple soup. The only thing is whether there is enough cheese to give that the body we want. I haven't got the body I want. According to your notes, Ebers, it says Brie, break in Melt and Blitz next. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So most of the alcohol's bubbled off. We've chopped the Brie because it's oozy and that'll be easier. It needs to melt and then we'll blitz it smooth. Then season to taste. You definitely only need a very small portion, and we'll pour it in. That is cholesterol. That is cheese soup. A little pinch of paprika, and there we go. Cheese soup, sorted. Right, let's try this. Oh, that is rich. Oh, I really like that. That's not too cheesy for me. Now, we really like that, obviously, but all of our recipes and sorted food are tried and tested, which means that you do get more than one round of applause when you cook them. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is pop up an Instagram today of that cheese soup, and we want your comments. How could we make it better? How could we improve it? How could we serve it with something different? We want to know from you. Comment down below, let us know, 
And uh, we will take that back to the test kitchen and we will get it properly developed and then it will be up on sortedfood.com as a recipe. Be really good. Back to the fridge? Yeah, back to the fridge. Well, if you enjoyed that, then give it a like. Uh, also, remember to leave us a comment because we read everything. Lots of you want to know if Ben's single, so we'll answer that yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. Um, also, remember to subscribe because we will make you hungry. Yep, and I think that fridge cam, I'd like to say had everything, but that'd be far-fetched. It sure did. It had top-notch scientific discovery. It had me what feels like my first ever beer. Yes. I can't even talk. If you stay with us on the website, then uh, we're about to test the cheesy nightmare theory as a team and you'll be able to find out our results right now so stay with us yep. and we'll see you wednesday for some halloween action spooky oh, i don't want to go to your halloween episode if you're going to be like that is that spooky? Spooky? i don't know why i said that i don't know um, by the way guys does this mean that we are now scientists yes official I we scientists I think I think we're official convinced. scientists i feel like the scientist inside of me says that there is something very unfair <laughs> about some of that testing <laughs> There were no controls. No. I just feel like Can we not wait until the scientist is back outside? Of you What's the scientist's name <laughs> that lives inside of you? Yeah. I know what I mean. Well, I think I do know what you mean, and that's why I'm worried. And there's still one more science experiment still to do, which is why last night we all took cheese home, mm -hmm. and we vlogged from our independent respective bedrooms. I made that bit very clear. You did make that bit very clear. <laughs> this is how it went.